Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are today. We are back in City Skylines. You guys are loving it, and so am I. This is episode number three, and guys, there is problems. There are a lot of problems in this city right now. I mean, just take a look at this traffic. We had some traffic issues in the last episode, but it really got out of the hand. Because watch this, look. I can build until here, but the traffic just keeps on going and going, and we, we need to fix this. The city is doing super well. Oh, wait, ne never mind. There's some water issues. Shit, I think I might be running low on water. Let me just put some more water things down. The city is doing super well, but I've made it a big mess. In my opinion, at least. What is this? Heating? I didn't know that existed. Is that a new update? Awesome! We got heating! Uh, great. So, we we definitely made the city a big mess, and uh, we're gonna have to solve that. And also, these sewage things, they suck. We need two new ones, or maybe three. And get rid of those disgusting sewage things, because look what they did to this water. Just look at that. That is disgusting. Disgusting. That's just shit. That's human shit. And this, which is supposed to be our future awesome cool beach, is just piled with shit everywhere. So yeah, we gotta delete those and put some clean sewage recycling things, pipes, whatever they're called down. We gotta make sure to connect them though, because if I forget that, then the city will die. Now, first of all, thank you guys so much for all the really good support on the previous episodes. I want to make the episodes longer because I feel like we haven't really progressed enough yet. Because look, the city is not really huge right now. We need to, we need to speed this thing up. So I've got an idea to solve this traffic, okay? Currently, cars can go in and out only using this small, tiny little entrance. And also this one, which is used a lot by industrial only, but still, we need to fix this. And my idea to fix this is to build an entire highway around the city. This way, people will actually use the highway more often, and they won't have to go through the entire city to get somewhere. And it should also just get rid of this whole problem, because people who want to go here would rather get off here. So, yeah, let's try and solve this issue, but in the meantime, we gotta make sure that we're not like locking this city off. We need to make sure that we can expand this city. So yeah, this is gonna be tricky. First of all, let's buy this area and this area and, and yeah. Oh shit, I created a dick shape. I just created a dick shape area. Great. Another problem is why can I not buy these things anymore now? Like my city needs to be big, not like freaking locked out and shit. Come on guys. So yeah, I can't build here. Only way how I'm gonna solve that is using a tunnel, I guess. So so let's start. If you guys are wondering why I have so much money in my bank, it's because I let the game on for a couple hours. That way it generates some money, which you definitely need in this game. All right, so I finished building the tunnel. As you can see, you can go in here, then get out here. And since highways are only like a one-way kind of road, um, we need the way back as well. So let's, let's start building that. Actually, did I just make myself a too hard to build that? Think I might have screwed up. There you go. We've connected this one-way road now. So now we've got two tunnels here, which just lead on with the highway, right? That should work, I think. Now, if we connect these two here, we we'll make like an intersection, which means people can turn around if they'd like to, which eventually we'll probably have to delete or find another solution with because this will stop the traffic as well. But for now, I think it should be fine. Now, let's actually start building on this, this road. All right, so like I said, we're gonna have to go around the entire city. So it's gonna cost me a lot of money to make this highway, but eventually it should pay off because hopefully it will solve the traffic issues, which we, we kind of need in the city, you know? We need to solve that. If traffic sucks in a city, the city will lose money eventually because you could have made more money if the trucks were there faster, if that makes sense. I hope I'm, you know, explaining everything correctly so you guys understand. All right, so this is looking really good so far. Kind of made it almost around the entire city. But you're gonna have to figure out how I could make like a nice intercourse over here. Intercourse, is that is that the right way to say it? And what is this? Pedestrian roads, road condition, road maintains depot. What? I didn't know all this shit was new. I might have downloaded the mod or something that not really knowing what it would do, but I mean, it's cool. It's cool. I, I like it. It's not called an intercourse. It's called an intersection. Shit. Everything I just said made me look really stupid. All right. So let's delete some of these roads. I'm going to put an intersection down. I probably will have to delete the train part as well. Since we're on pause right now, it's fine, but got to make sure I don't lose too much money doing this. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We have an issue. The train station is in the way. Let's delete the train station. 
station. <laughs> Nobody liked that shit anyway. Actually, a lot of people used it, but but still, it's it's fine. I need this intersection, so I'm making space for it. Please, I understand. Thank you. There you go, we put it down. Now let's connect this baby up the way it's supposed to go. There you go, looking fine. And there you go. Now we have to delete these roads. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, I swear. I have feelings. And I'll just connect all this together. And there we go! And now we need to make the other way. It's so hard to make a nice highway, man. But whatever. It's looking fine. Don't worry about it. And there you go! The highway is officially finished! And now we need some intersections! Because a highway without intersections means no one can actually enter the city. Which is kind of dumb. Luckily, I've got some presets of intersections downloaded. Makes it a little bit easier for me. This is a roundabout intersection. They're quite cool, but do we- do we want that? Do we really want that jelly? This is a clover leaf intersection, which we might actually use. I mean, it's cool and all, but yeah. Then we need like a highway over here, which would be good, but still, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Not, not gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna give it a try and just build my own intersection. Here's gonna be an intersection for the industrial area because we definitely need that right now. I also need to fix the train station again. Let's just let's just start with that because I'm probably gonna forget the train train station. Train tracks. Now we need to make sure that this train can actually, you know, like uh, transport things. Yeah, trains need to do that these days. There you go. All right, now where do we build that freaking train? Thing. How about we build it right over here? We've got an idea. Watch me closely. We're gonna build a large road, and we're gonna make that road go under the highway. Let it come back up. Um, right, right where? Where can we go and let it back? What? Where can we let it go back up, guys? I don't understand. Right there. And then that's gonna be our train station. Great! But we don't have enough money for a cargo train terminal. Can we borrow some money? Can we pay off? Take. Pay off. Take. All right. There you go. I've got some more money. Um, yeah. That should work. Connect this baby up. I don't think we'll have enough money for some intersections, so yeah. <laughs> uh, help. There you go. I've got the train station lined up. That looks really good, actually. Now, I just gotta make sure that the industrial area actually goes here to send their cargo away. And I also need to add a power line and possibly some water. Yup, I need water here as well. I still need to figure out what this heating thing is all about. Do I need to heat up the buildings now? What? This update just ruined my city! Okay, well, a boiler station costs 60 grand. Or do we want a heating plant? Um, what is more effective? I don't know. This costs 640 per week and this one 480 so this is definitely cheaper and which one has more output this one has more output as well obviously it's more expensive and this is water pipe with heating pipes a water pipe that can also transfer heat in addition to water use these pipes to connect heating facilities to buildings if need heat all right this is great so this new update kind of screwed up my entire city i'm gonna have to delete all my old water pipes i think and use the heating pipes now all right so let's Put a boiler station down over here. Now I'm out of money. I only have a thousand dollars left. But this is what the heating pipe looked like. Wow. Okay, well, cool. But I guess we're gonna have to be cold because I don't have no money. God dang it, guys. Our city is struggling right now. We, we gotta make some more money. Our, I mean, our city's doing really well, really well, making nine thousand dollars per. I think that's day. I'm not sure actually. But I still haven't been able to solve the traffic issue because, well, I wasn't able to build any intersections. So maybe we can do some like quick and easy intersections sections, which are not gonna cost us that much money. This one needs to go this way. There you go. So now this one can enter the highway. And how do you get off the highway? Well, like this. Okay, never mind. I don't think I'll be able to put a bridge down here. So yeah, I really need some more money. So it's dark right now. Let's wait a little bit until I got some more money. All right, guys, it is time to replace some water pipes with heating pipes that also transfer water. I think, I hope. I'm not sure actually, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take that guess. They're actually really, really expensive. So I'm definitely not gonna be able to heat up the entire city, but I can see that the industrial part actually already needs heated water. So I'm gonna put it down right there. And then eventually I will be able to heat up the entire city. Updates are great on me guys. I love updates, but apparently you still need water as well. You still need this water pumps because what this does, it's only a boiler, you know, it only boils the water. It doesn't actually, doesn't actually do anything else. Okay. Okay, there you go and attach it to the water, but we don't have enough money Okay, well, we're gonna have to do it this way <laughs> So now this entire part of the city has heated water, which is only the industrial area, but that's that's fine That's okay. I don't see anyone complaining here that they need warm water. They can boil it themselves 
All right, there you go. The heated water is doing its job, I, I think. Look, looks cool. Now, because we need some more money, I put some more industrial area down here. Or industrial zone, or whatever you freaking call it. Actually, I need to make sure that this thing is only making oil, because that's what's giving me all this money. So, yeah, the city is making a lot of money. A $13,000 weekly income. Wow, awesome. Rolling into money here, guys. Definitely rolling into money here. Kind of. Let's start building an intersection for the industrial area, which I don't know where to build now, because I put this here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna delete this again. We finally have enough money, so I can get rid of this. Now, how I usually make my intersections is just, I put a large road, like this one, an eight-lane road, above the highway. And then I just connect both highways to it, and that way, it should be fine. Right? Gotta make sure I put it in the middle because otherwise it looks a little ugly. Okay, is this nice? Yeah, that looks that looks actually really good. Now I connect this freaking huge road to both highways. Wait, I need to make this a little longer, I think. There you go. And there there you go. Just make sure it's a one-ray road, okay. All right, so it's definitely not the prettiest highway thing I've ever made, but it's working, I guess. Now I need to make sure that people can leave. So, a one-way road from here to the same spot. Nope, not possible. Okay, doesn't matter. And from here to up here. That's good. That looks nice. So now people can go both ways, and this way I hopefully figured out the traffic issues, I think. Now I'm gonna do something new as well. Hopefully I've got no expensive buildings around this side of the industrial area. What is that? Okay, I need to move that. I'm almost broke again. I don't even, I don't even think I've got enough money to put another road down. There you go. Okay, now, finally, we will be able to finish this road. What we do is we make an eight lane road and we just add it to this one, but we don't have enough money. So let's wait a little bit. It costs 9k. I've got 6k now. Almost 9k. Come on. Come on. And there we go. <laughs> and now I'm broke again. <laughs> God dang it. All right, so at least that should solve some of my problems, really. Um, I'm gonna make sure that the industrial trucks can't go through here anymore, so they'll always have to go through here. How I'm gonna do that is delete this road and make sure that they can't go in here. This is a district, right? So I need to make this distri district a little longer, I think. Actually, I solved it because some trucks are gonna have to go to like some shop or something, so they still need to be able to go there, but if they wanna go on a highway, they're always gonna have to go through this way, I think. I don't see anyone going here right now. Where are you guys going? All right, currently everyone's leaving here, but that's fine. That's not causing any trouble right now. All right, so I've got some more money for heated pipes. Do I really need to heat up my city, though? That's that's a question, because no one seems to be complaining, really. So I'm going to leave that for now, and we'll just start building some more intersections, because that's what I need. And what are they complaining about? Not enough raw materials. What do you mean? Did you run out of oil? You didn't. So what are you what are you complaining about? What is this? Something new as well. No commercial specialization. Remove the commercial specialization of the districted areas and it returns the zone to default commercial. What? Leisure specialization. Okay, that's cool. Tourism specialization. Wow. So this is commercial specialization. So before you could only like specialize industrial areas, but now you can specialize commercial areas. That's cool. Commercial zones are active 24/7. Wow. Okay, I'm definitely going to work on that. And I think we might have to make our oil district a little smaller so let's cut them off a little bit just like this this is gonna be the oil district and the rest should be something else I guess I don't really know what now of course I need to learn a lot more about this game but I think I'm doing quite alright so far let's just start building on the intersections again ah it's getting dark don't like it a road maintains depot um, I definitely need this we need to keep the roads nice and clean guys and without any cracks because I hate roads with cracks let's put this down over here could be a a little loud, I think, but that's okay. There you go. No roads. We'll have cracks now. Awesome. Still no trucks on this freaking highway. What's going on? Why is it so dead? Although it looks like I kind of solved the traffic issue here. Traffic looks good. No problem so far. But they're still complaining about something. Not enough raw materials. What? I think I know what's up. I think I might have locked off a road somewhere so no one can access them. So what do we do to solve this? I think we should first of all try and get rid of this district. There you go. So now heavy traffic should be allowed everywhere, but is that gonna conflict with traffic again? I don't know. Did that solve this problem? No, it did not. All right, we've got a prison. Okay, another update. Wow, this episode is full of updates, guys. We definitely need a prison, because I don't have that yet. Uh, where can we put a prison down? Put it down over here, right? Next to the entrance of the city. That's great. All right, what else is new, guys? Because now I'm wondering. Oh, we've got sauna. Nice. 
Let's put this in a little bit of a wealthy area down. At least I think sauna. Sauna is more like the thing wealthy people do. I, I think so. I, I don't know actually. Tourism and leisure. All right. You've got a zoo. We've got a luxury hotel. Fantastic fountain. Driving range. A casino. Nice. So people in a city want commercial zones. So that's what we're going to give it to them. Let's put some medium roads down. Are these medium roads? I put small roads down in the entire city. That's so dumb. All right, medium roads from now on. Let's build this over here and actually start working on the intersection here, if that's possible. All right, so I put some medium roads down and already put some commercial zones on it. Now, this is going to be a tourism area. So what we need as well is some nice parks. Did they put new parks in here? Did they put new parks in here? I'm not sure, actually. This might be new. Holy moly, a fishing pier? Yeah, that's, that's sick. What else do we have? Fishing tours, jet ski rental. Oh my God, this update is amazing, guys. Skate park. All right, let's put a skate park down. Is that touristic? I, I'm not sure, but I'm still gonna put it down. A riding stable, yeah, for horses and stuff. All right, that's kind of tourism-ish. <laughs> A beach volleyball court, yes! And a restaurant, okay, so when we get closer to the water, we're gonna work on that. As you guys can see, I've started the intersection here. Kinda need to finish it off though, before I build stuff. Cause that's not gonna work. There you go! Intersection is finished! People can go and leave the city now from this part, which is awesome. Although, people still come from here because this is where the, like, outside, outside, out, out, uh, what? This is where the outside world is connected, so, yeah. As soon as the city gets bigger and bigger, people will start using these highways, I hope. I mean, it costs me a lot of money, so. They better do so, otherwise I'll kick him out. Shit, traffic is still a pain. Ah, uh, great. Well, we've got 20k people living here now, but I see people are complaining about fire and about police departments, so we're gonna have to put some more stuff down. Let's put headquarters down here. They need heating? You, you kidding me? I gave you heating. Why do they want heating? I, I gave them heating. Oh, I get it. I understand what's going on, guys. I understand what's going on. So I gave them heating, but I did not connect them to the boiler. So there you go. Now it's connected. Now please stop complaining because Jelly will kick you out. I, I promise. I will do such thing. Ah, uh, there you go. Nice. The city is officially heated. Looks cool. <laughs> They want me to build a lot more industrial, but I don't really want industrial, but I'm still gonna do it anyway. Let's continue building this side of the city. It's a bit far from the rest, but that's good for industrial areas, I guess. Just gotta make sure we powered it up with the, with not only the heating, but also the electricity, so yeah. All right, there you go. Give it some electricity, some electro lines. That's what I'm gonna call them, guys, electro lines. Sounds like a Pokemon. And there you go. There's the power, and here's the heating. You're welcome, guys. You are very welcome. And now we just gotta put an industrial zone down. It's a little bit out of the city, but I think it should be fine anyway. Cool, nice. Do we need to put more hospitals down? Um, the answer is yes. Possibly over here. Let's put a small one down. There you go. What about, like, a fire department? Oh, yes, definitely. I think I might have removed one from the industrial area, so let's put one down over here on the big road. Schools. Schools are doing really well, I think. Oh. Universities. Do we have universities? We did not put universities down yet. That's because I only just unlocked universities. So, yeah, great. My city can do a lot better with universities. We need universities. And a taxi depot. That's also new. So my plan with this city is to make it huge. And then once it's huge, we'll have so much people moving in that we can, like, start making it a little cuter. So, first we gotta make it big. And then we build the nice areas. The rich areas. Look at this. Look at these nice hotels. That's actually really cool. Oh my god, they look fantastic. This is supposed to be the, the tourism area, so I think we've got plenty of tourists in this city now. How can, we, how can we see that again? Oh shit, city policies? Of course, we've got some new stuff on the city policies. Let's have a look. Only electricity for heat. Buildings are forbidden to use heating. They can only use electricity. This raises electricity consumption significantly during... Okay, no, I don't want that. Extra insulation. Buildings require less energy for heating thanks to the extra insulation layer in their walls. What is this? Prison sentences? Double... Okay. Reduces the crime rate. We definitely need that. School's out. The citizens will prefer working over education, and only a small portion of the citizens will go to study in a university. That, why does... Why is that a good idea, guys? What is this? Let go of leisure. Leisure specialized areas stop generating tax income, but get a hefty boost in their entertainment and attractive values. That's... That's something we want, guys. That's something we want. City planning. Old town. Only residents and businesses can use the area for motor vehicles. Ban other motor traffic. 
I don't know how that makes sense. I don't know. No light noise in the night, unless your specialized areas will close for night. I don't want that. Bike ban on sidewalks. Encourage biking. Yes, I want that. High tech housing. I do want that as well. Big business benefactor. I do want that as well. Industrial space planning. I do want that as well. Nice. This is going to cost me a lot of money to do these upgrades, but look at that leisure area. Wow. Tourists are going to love this space. And listen to that sound. It's a lot of money coming in, that's for sure. People want to move in. Great, guys. We've got a lot of space here now, so uh, you're welcome to move in. Come on. Come on in, babies. Come on in. And as you guys can see, there's a little bit more cars on the intersection. I lied. <laughs> now, what's going on here? They don't have enough people working here. Well, I don't give a shit. You build your industrial area around the city, okay? Not close to the city. This area needs some electricity. You got it, brother. You got it. Please tell me in the comment section how we can make sure to use this entire area and not just like this because that's really annoying. All right, is it time for another intersection? Guys, I think it is. I want to put another big road down in the city or a medium road at least because that should definitely help with all the traffic in town. Because just look at this. How is this supposed to be good for a city? This roundabout, this roundabout is definitely killing it. Look at, look at the traffic. Fuck. And why are you guys not going through here? I need to ban, I need to ban, um, yeah, but that's what I'm gonna do. I need to ban trucks from this area right here. So let's do that, guys. Policies. Heavy traffic ban. Hopefully, this way, people will start using the new highway, or at least the industrial area. Look at that. That's looking a lot better. I think traffic is... Okay, why, why, why is heavy traffic still using this? Why? I told them not to, but they're still doing it. And also, I need to delete this road because that's causing, that's causing all of this. Grove Square seems to be doing quite all right. Tourism is coming to town, baby. Nice. We've got a casino. This is starting to look like Las Vegas, kind of. Not really, but but still, kind of. But this city wants more. This city keeps wanting more. So let's put another medium road down with trees, of course, and start working on this area. All right, I put an intersection down here. Guys, we've got a lot of money. We've got $330,000, awesome. So this intersection will be used for people trying to leave the city from this part, which doesn't have a lot of people living here right now, so let's fix that. Actually, this is all gonna be shops. Tourism, tourism, tourism. We need a commercial zone on this entire thing. Now before I use this one's tourism specialization, dedicates the commercial zone to serve tourists by providing hotels, restaurants, and other activities, attracts tourists, and this one causes noise, but is leisure. So it's for nightlife and daytime relaxation. Okay, and what is this? No commercial specialization? All right, so I'm gonna use this one for this one. That should be fine. So this will be like the nightlife area of the town, which should be freaking awesome. And considering we've got enough money for a university now, let's put one down, right? And a big one as well. There you go. Another one over here. There you go. That should fix these people up because they don't seem to be very happy. All right, let's put a taxi depot down. You know, anything you can make money on, you gotta put down because tax, tax. Man, I wish I had my own city in real life. Tax, tax is amazing. Unless you gotta pay it, then it kind of sucks. All right, let's put a taxi depot down right here. And just, just some random ones around town. It will solve the traffic, you know? And now this is a taxi stand, and this is where taxis will be waiting. So definitely put this around here, this, this kind of area. Put a couple taxi spots down, should be looking good. There you go. Now you wanna put the taxi spots down where there's the most people, because then more people will come to the city and leave. Right? All right, everyone is starting to turn sick. Why is everyone starting to turn sick? What's going on with the health? We have a sauna. Uh, what is it? What is it, guys? Do we need more parks? We need more parks! Definitely around this area. Basketball court. Awesome. What about a sunken city plaza park? We've got many of those in the city so far. There you go. Now, please stop complaining, because Jelly is helping out, all right? Now, let's just put a hospital down here, just because we can. It's expensive, but we need to make the people as happy as possible. That way they'll spend more money. The more money equals more tax income. It equals me getting richer in the game. But people seem to be getting sick here as well. Why? A dead person is waiting for transport. All right, so first of all, we gotta prevent him from getting dead. All right, guys, so traffic is officially freaking terrible in the city. Look at this. Man, traffic is a problem. What we're gonna have to do is cut this baby open. It's kind of like surgery, but then it's, then it's not, really. So I got rid of that road. I'm gonna have to move some stuff. Now it's time to put another road down. Start with a medium road. That should be fine, actually, a medium road. Why does it say space already occupied? 
Let's delete this one, I guess. What about now? Space already occupied. There you go, that's way better. So, road. From all the way from here. And there you go, medium road has been connected. We had to delete a lot of houses there, but should be fine. Should be fine for now. Put some more residential areas down here. And now we have to connect these two roads because I have to delete them. I'm not sure if this roundabout is still doing its thing. Probably not. Eventually we have to get rid of this roundabout because it's definitely causing some issues here. But this medium road should have solved some of the traffic issues in this city. Obviously not all, but okay, I'm happy with it. So the nightclub area seems to be looking good. It looks like red light district in here. <laughs> Let's call it red light district just because we can. Red light, wait, that uh, caps is on. Red light district. There you go. There's a lot of young people in here, a lot of teenagers, barely any children, which is kind of good. You don't want children to hang out here. Still a lot of seniors as well. Well, it's a place for everyone, I guess. What about the tourism area? What, what attracts this? A lot of adults. Not that many seniors compared to the nightclub area, which is cool. But this place is open 24-7, so traffic here will always be intense. And maybe it's smarter to put this around a place where tourism is the, th the thing, right? So how about we make this a little bit bigger? There you go. So now the leisure area is connected to the nightclub area. Should be cool. Hopefully it works. Looks like all the shops are starting to rebuild. Holy shit, and there's a lot of people walking around here. Right now it looks like traffic is doing a little bit better. Good, I like that. Can we put some special stuff down now? Like from the tourism and leisure area. No, we still can't put anything down. We need, we need at least 5,000 squares of leisure specialization. Wow, for a casino? What about this thing? What is this? The Rembrandt Tower. Oh, I downloaded this. The tallest, th this is the tallest tower that is in Amsterdam. And you can technically put it down in your city, but I really don't see a point right now. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, click on the like button. Um, we've probably sold Solved a lot of the traffic issues. You can't really see it happening right now. But as soon as the city grows and grows, I think this highway should definitely take over. People will start knowing it better and use this more often because then they will learn that this is probably a faster route than going through the city. So thanks for watching. I'm loving the support on the series so far. Give this video 30,000 likes and I'll make another one. Simple as that. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>